It likes straight metal, so I always have to straighten out my metal before I put it in there. And it works with uh, copper, silver? Copper, silver, brass, um, basically. Uh, nickel, silver if you use it. Uh, but I wouldn't try anything. I would never put steel in here for any reason unless it was extremely thin gauge. Um, and I haven't tried titanium. So um, other than that, I think that's about it. all the metals I can think of. So the thing with this is that you also, whatever circle you're going to cut out of this, you want to go to the other side of this and put a piece of metal in so that this remains level while you're cutting. Oh. So I'm going to open this and stick this piece of metal in over here and I'll just do one eighth. I'm going to stick this in here. I'm going to make sure that there are no vacant spots in there. You can see that that's covered by the copper. You want to be very careful because sometimes when I'm doing things really quickly and I don't see that little sliver on one side of space, then I get a circle with a bite out of it. So I have slowed down and then I'm going to tighten this back up so that it's very firm. That's the only thing I don't like about it is, but of course it has to happen. But I want this on something a little bit sturdy. Is that a little piece of plastic on the bottom? I think actually, it is a piece of plastic. The plastic protects the, the disc cutter from this bench block here. Oh, okay. At home, I have a steel table so that I don't have to worry about it because there is something uh, rigid underneath it. Now I just have to figure out which one is which. Okay, so this has one very sharp end, you can see there, and one beveled end. The beveled end is up towards you. It won't cut. I'm going to put it right on top like that. I'm going to use my brass hammer again. Oh, 